We're about to do a video on top five pistol caliber carbines. You're gonna notice an MP5 isn't on the table. Why? Because it's the king. It's not a myth, it's the legend, it reigns superior. So, as you saw in the intro, no, we're not gonna be talking about the MP5. Why? Because it is just obvious, right? We talk about it all the time as the pistol caliber carbine, so I just wanted to get that out there so that way all you HK fanboys aren't down there in the comments section just lighting us up, all right? Throwing it out there. Anyway, number one we're gonna talk about is pretty much just your base AR9, except this base AR9 comes with a price tag, but is also totally worth it. This is the Angstead Arms UDP-9, and this is a direct blowback 9mm AR style pistol. And yes, all of these guns we're about to talk about are considered pistols by manufacturer. Of course, in the name pistol caliber carbine, you would think it's a carbine, but it just is a umbrella term to, uh, umbrella term, to uh, call out everything kind of like this. All right, we're just keeping it simple. Anyway, Angstead Arms has been around for a little while now, and they're local to us, which is pretty cool, right out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And they have uh, a really neat contract with the United States Army that they got in September of 2018 uh, where they were designed to make the SCW subcompact weapon uh, to help <laughs> help the United States Army protect high-risk individuals or personnel, which I think is super cool. And they patented and came out with the SCW stock, which is, as far as I know to this day, a record holder for the world's smallest AR stock. It's pretty cool, super minimalist, check that one out, all right? But anyway, Angstead Arms, like I said, right out of Charlotte, and this is their UDP-9, 9mm AR style pistol. I like right from the factory that it comes with, it actually comes with a 15 round Glock magazine. Again, if you're wanting to keep that nice compact size, makes sense, and it's Glock mags that it takes. Most of these guns we're talking about take Glock mags. So. Does it take Glock mags? Yes, yes it does. Enter meme face there. And uh, yeah, so you can add in your 33 round, 17 round, 15 round, whatever you wanna do. And it also comes with this SB Tactical Brace, which I am a huge fan of. It allows for a great point of contact for that cheek weld. Anyway, and also too, it does have the Picatinny rail that rides right on top. So if you wanna throw any type of optics on it, you can. A little bit elongated M-lock rail, which I'm a huge fan of. Flash hider, great. And overall, a phenomenal looking gun too. Oversized trigger guard, trigger guard, which I'm also a huge fan of, and the B5 Systems Grip. All of it is just a ballpark, home run, out of the ballpark type of uh, display with this pistol, and I like it a lot. But let's talk about something now that's not all that AR-like. Next up is this fun guy right here. This is the Chris Vector Gen 2 Enhanced Model. The Enhanced Model has a little bit longer barrel with an extended rail and then the two side Picatinny rails. So if you wanted to throw on a flashlight, laser, whatever type of tactical accessory you want, you can. Also coming with the hand stop right up here. Chambered in 45 ACP. What I don't like about this gun, I'm gonna say it right now, is the thread pitch on it, all right? I get it for other reasons, but it's not your standard 45 ACP thread pitch. It is the left hand 16.1, but you know, whatever. The only reason I don't like it is because I don't have a piston for my Gymtech 45 suppressor that'll fit it, so I'm in the process of getting one so I can shoot this guy suppressed. Anyway, Picatinny rail up top does come with Chris's own polymer sights, which I am actually a huge fan of. I really like the sight picture on these guys. Super comfortable and very nice. Now, what's cool about the Chris Vector and why it's called the Vector is because of the Super V recoil system that this guy has in it. So whenever you shoot it, it is direct blowback. The bolt will actually travel downward here and it's re-vectoring that recoil downward so that way there's less muzzle rise and also less felt recoil. Pretty cool stuff, right? Re-vectoring the recoil, get it? Anyway, overall this is a really neat gun. It has a nice short, th short throw ambi uh, safety on it, which I like quite a bit. Trigger feels pretty good on it as well. And I'll go ahead and show that off to you guys really fast, just to take a look. A little bit of take up, nice and light. And then, boom, there it is. That's really it, and then, Nice short reset, kind of throws your finger forward, which I like uh, for those you know fast, accurate shots. But what I really want to do is shoot one of these full auto because with that re-vectoring system that they have for the recoil, I bet this thing is just stays right on target. I'd love it. Also too, it does come with an SB tactical brace. Again, all of these are pistols. This is a pistol brace. And I think this is probably by far, for me at least in my personal experience, one of the best side folding 
devices I've seen on uh, a standard, a, a, you know, not really AR, but standard pistol. It's got this button that you just push here and you just rotate. It's nothing complicated. You don't have to use force to go up or down and then just to uh, get it out, you're, you're there, which I like a lot, all right? And that's it. So very nice, I like it. It's also sturdy, it's not moving around on me. And uh, these things are a heck of a lot of fun to shoot. And also too, if you wanted to switch calibers on it, nine mil or even 10 mil now, all you do is remove a couple of pins and then this whole barrel assembly and recoil assembly just falls out away from the gun and then you can put your new lower in there. Pretty neat stuff. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's move on to the next one. Now we got ourselves a real small boy. This is the SIG MPX Copperhead, but this one has the uh, four inch barrel on it, also chambered in nine millimeter and <laughs> little tiny guy, all right? So first off, really cool. It has a monolithic upper receiver to it, which is pretty nice. And therefore the Picatinny rail runs the full top of the receiver. Again, great for optics, all that type of fun stuff. And the charging handle. And it also has a short stroke piston system in it, which is very nice. And this thing, talk about low recoil. Granted, it's nine mil in this type of package. It's gonna have low recoil, but with pistol caliber carbines, you'll notice, especially on direct blowback guns, you know, you'll have a little bit more of a jump with them. Uh, the Chris Vector is great at mitigating that recoil through their revectoring recoil system, uh, but because of the short stroke piston system on this guy, this thing is a nice light recoiling gun, easy to get fast shots off with this guy, comes with a uh, 20 round SIG mag, and uh, let's go ahead and check out that trigger, that flat face trigger right there, and let's go ahead and start applying some pressure, <laughs> that's it, talk about nice, and then the reset. Oh my goodness. Allows for some very quick shots, awesome follow-up shots if needed. Ambi safety as well, ambi mag release, ambi bolt release. Yeah, all of it is just really nice on the SIG Copperhead. I am definitely a huge fan of this compact little package. Who would like to see it given away? Of course you would. All right, on to the next one. Next up is the CZ Scorpion. This one's probably the most popular out of all the guns we've talked about so far, other than the MP5 uh, or the Chris Vector, simply because of its cost. This is definitely the most affordable gun that we've talked about uh, thus far, and it does use that direct blowback system. So I will say with the Chris Vector, you will notice a little bit more recoil on this guy. Um, I have installed on this one here, this is my personal one, a Franklin Armory binary trigger, and the binary in this guy works phenomenal and is a whole lot of fun. I also keep this guy full-time suppressed with the Gemtech 45 suppressor. Yes, it's nine mil, but It'll still do a good, great job shooting a smaller caliber through a larger can without an issue. And this uh, stream light, light that I've thrown on it to try it out, I had it on my Mark 18 for a while. Now I'm running it on here. It's a little light laser combo. I like it, it's fun. Uh, but ultimately guys, the CZ Scorpion I like a lot because you can do anything you want to this, this guy. It's like, <sighs> It's, it's, it reminds me kind of like, I used to have a Jeep Wrangler and I did all sorts of crazy things to it. It kind of reminds me of that, right? You can switch out grips, rails, braces, if you want to SBR it, stocks, right? And you can do it all with a lot of ease and simplicity. Uh, extended charging handles, which I totally recommend on this guy. It's just a fun platform. And again, like I said, the most affordable out of the ones that we're talking about. So if you're looking for a pistol caliber carbine and in a decent price range, check out the CZ Scorpion lineup. They've got a bunch of them in different variations, even rifles, if that's uh, what you fancy. So check them out and uh, yeah. That's a CC Scorpion. Last up guys, we're talking about CMMG and the Banshee. Now this looks pretty similar to the Engstat that we showed earlier. Yes, it is still an AR9 that takes Glock mags. This one here is specifically chambered in 45 ACP, but the operating system is quite different. This uses a radial blowback design, which is pretty neat. And what it does, it kind of acts like the MP5 is the rollers and using that delayed blowback system, except instead of using rollers, it's actually using the bolt face to kind of slow everything down and allows for safe pressures before the bolt cycles. Now doing so, that's gonna slow down how much the bolt is traveling and therefore you're gonna have felt less recoil. So or have less felt recoil, that's what I meant to say. But anyways, you guys get it. So ultimately, CMMG's patented radial delayed blowback is pretty sweet stuff, and yes, is an absolute pleasure to shoot. I really love the innovation that a lot of different companies put out into their firearms, like Chris with the Super V vectoring recoil system, CMMG's radial delayed system. All of that stuff is super cool, and I love to see it uh, you know, in works, and also available to us 
and the civilian market, which is a lot of fun, right? But anyway, the CMMG Banshee has been out for a little while now, and I really love the weight of this guy. It's nice and lightweight. They include the SBA3 brace on it with this rip it design. So if you need to deploy it quickly, you just pull back fast. That's really all there is to it. And now you're ready to get out there and uh, do some shooting, all right? And this one has your standard 45 ACP thread pitch on it, the 5.728, whatever it is. And uh, it allows me to, you know, suppress suppress it because I have that piston for my suppressor. So I like that a lot, right? But anyway, definitely a fun time shooting. This guy does have an M-Lock rail on it with the Picatinny up top and the Picatinny on the upper receiver. So of course, optics ready. If you want to throw a red dot, magnified, whatever you want to do, it's your gun, have at it. And also to the oversized Ambi charging handle, I am a huge fan of that they throw on their Banshees, all right? And this one here, I guess it kind of looks more AR9-ish to me because it does have, you know, similar trigger, uh, similar safety, also the bolt catch, even down to the dust cover, mag release, a little bit different, but it also adds for a larger surface area than your standard AR-15 and is super intuitive. So overall, <laughs> 10 out of 10 would recommend the CMMB, CMMG Banshee. It's a phenomenal pistol, all right? And uh, with that being said, I uh, have to make a really hard decision and think about my favorite, but I think I'm gonna cheat and go with my personal because, well, it's my personal and I've got it set up just how I want. Full-time suppressed EOTech holographic sight. There's CZ rail on it. And I really love shooting this gun, especially with the binary trigger on it, which we have shown off in previous videos. But yeah, and also again, I really love the price point on it. However, this is also probably the heaviest recoiling one that I could have selected. It does recoil quite a bit. It's a little jumpy. Like I mentioned earlier with the nine millimeter pistol caliber carbines or any pistol caliber carbine, uh, they do tend to jump a little bit and some companies have come out and found ways to make them nice and lighter recoiling. All right, so pretty cool stuff. And that's it for today's video. What's your favorite pistol caliber carbine. I'm curious to hear from you guys. I know a lot of y'all have CZ Scorpions because they are a very popular and a fan favorite, I'll say, uh, as do I. But I gotta tell you, CMMG Banshee comes into a close second, if you ask me, mainly because of that radial delayed system and overall the simplicity and I guess you could say just how familiar it is because it is an AR9 platform. And then probably the Angstat and then the Chris Vector, but we all know the MP5 wins, right? Anyway, talking about cool guns, we are going and we are giving away this guy right here. This is the Barrett M107 with the EOTech Voodoo Optic 3.5 to 18 power with a phenomenal first focal plane reticle and beautiful crystal clear glass. I say it's actually clearer than what I can see. It doesn't make sense, but it's awesome. Anyway, 20 inch FDE. We're giving this away in collaboration with Alex Zedra. If you're not familiar with who she is, she is Operator Mara on Call of Duty Warzone and an all around awesome person. And she even included a spent case that she shot signed by her, Alex Zedra. And her last name is also the code word for this entry. Get yourself 400 entries by going to classicfirearms.com, hitting that top banner, and then for one of the entry methods, it's entering a code word, Zedra. That gets you like 400 or some odd entries, and then referring your friends and family gets you like 900. Don't miss out, guys. It's a semi-auto Barrett 50 BMG M107. It's also designed to be suppressed, so buy a suppressor for it too. God bless you guys. I'll see y'all down in the comments section, and I'll catch you next time at classicfirearms.com.